In this lesson, I'm going to look at uh, more features of the Photos app. Uh, in this one, we're looking at how to share photos and how to create and show a slideshow and how to delete photos. So when you open up the Photos app, and I'm now in the Moments view, I can share one photo or multiple photos. Now, what does it mean to share? Share means that you're going to send that photo to another app or you're going to mail it or you're going to post it to Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest. You're just giving it somewhere else, putting it somewhere else. And in the moments view, if I wanted to share um, all the photos in that moment, I could tap the share button here and then I could share that whole moment. All of those four pictures would be shared together instead of me selecting them one by one. Or I could share some photos of that moment. So by picking a couple, I could just share a couple of them. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you can tap the select button and then select the photos, if it's multiple photos, that you want to share. And once you've selected your photos, you tap the share button. And then we have all of these options here that we could share to. If I wanted to share just a single picture, then I open that picture in Moments view and tap the share button. And then I have the sharing options. So let's look at the sharing options first before we actually do share some. So there are two rows here. One, the top one is the sharing events. And these are apps that you can share your photo to. And the one at the bottom are sharing actions, where I can as assign this photo as wallpaper or put it onto a contact and have the picture there, airplay it to another device, copy it into another app. Uh, in this instance, if I wanted to send this picture to Facebook, for example, I've got it selected. You can see the tick there. And I can tap Facebook because I want to share it with Facebook. And in order to use Facebook and Twitter, Vimeo, which is a video sharing app, then you need to have signed in already. So I'm, I'd be able to post this picture because I've already signed in in the settings. So it's just come out of photos for a minute. Into settings, you've got a Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, and Vimeo. So if you wanted to share your pictures to those social networks, then you need to have signed in to that app, logged in with your account. And once you've done that, you won't have to sign in each time. Now, if you wanted to, to save, if you wanted to share it to somewhere else, then again, you'll have to sign into your account before you'll be able to post it there. So I can post this to Facebook. I can put it in an album if I want to. Um, put in a message if I want to or just post it. So I just post it up to Facebook and now I've shared that picture and it will appear in my Facebook feed. Let's check it. You hear it going now, the whoosh. And this is my Facebook feed, so it's just happened instantly. There's the picture. Waiting for some comments. Now what's, go back to photos, have a closer look at the sharing options. There are many more different things you can do now in iOS 8. So you can have uh, many more apps that will, you, can, you can share a photo directly to that app. And if you tap more, any app that I have installed on my system that I'd like to use to share photos to, I simply turn it on. So if I wanted to add some photos directly to Pinterest, then I have to turn it on. Any of those applications can accept photos directly from the Photos app, and I can just move them up and down in order of, of uh, importance. So my cloud, for example, I can send a photo straight to that, which is a cloud sharing service for a series of hard drives that I have. And anything you don't want to share to, you just turn off and then you tap done. If I was going to be sharing to Pinterest in, in favour of you know, a head of Flickr, then I can just reorder them. Now, if I think that Flickr is more important than Pinterest, I can just move it up and down. 
You can also share it to iCloud photo sharing, so that's going to go into your photo stream. The other way to share is with AirDrop. Now, AirDrop will work with anyone who has an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or a Mac computer. You can send photos directly to that person. Any device that is within reach will be displayed here, so it can, it can see my iPhone. So if I tap that, and it's going to contact my phone and send the picture directly to the phone, you can sort of see it there. The one on the left there is the, the phone, and that picture's been sent to that phone. So I want to send this photo, I want to share it. That's waiting. That I've shared that photo, that's the photo there that I've just shared with the iPhone. The iPhone is up on the left there. So it's another way of getting photos across from device to device. If you want to share them to email, so let's pick a few pictures. I'm selecting one, two, three, four, maybe five pictures, and I want to email those. So I'm going to select the pictures, tap the sharing button, and I'm going to mail them. And you can Send five images, no more than five at a time. It, it puts them into an email, just one under the other. And you can address the uh, email. So I'll send it to myself. And before you do that, if you tap here in the images section, you've got to decide how are you going to send those images. Are they going across at actual size? And if you do that, it's going to be a three megabyte email, which is quite large. Or you're just going to send little small thumbnail versions of it. Uh, email is not necessarily the best way to share photos to other people. I'll just send that as an email and send. So it's going to send that and they won't go across as full quality. Now with a group of photos you can also show them as a slideshow. So if we go back into photos, in the shared album we can show those as a slideshow. Any of the albums can be seen as a slideshow. So if I open up just these pictures here, they can be viewed as a slideshow. You can create a slideshow on the go, if you like, going into the camera roll, selecting a whole lot of photos. So just any, anything. The camera roll is just any photo you've taken at any point in time. There is no organization to it. I can um, add that to create a new album. Let's call it slideshow. Save. So I could create a slideshow that way as well. So I've now created an album, which has got photos that I want to use as a slideshow. So if I want to show it as a slideshow, I tap slideshow. And then I've got... In my case, I've got a couple of locations where I can show those images. If you have an Apple TV, then you can uh, display these photos directly to that Apple TV. Or in this case, I'll show them on the iMac because that's where I'm projecting this um, screencast. And you can have the transition. So as the photos change, how do you want those to uh, be? How, what do you want the transitions to be? And you can't have a different transition for each photo, but I'll just say dissolve for all of them. If you want to play music, you can turn that on and then select some music from your music library that is on your iPad. So I've got a number of things I could, we could um, connect there. I won't do that at this stage. And then you just start the slideshow. And because of the way I'm filming this, I'm not going to be able to show you that. But it will just transition every so, so many seconds and you set that up in the settings. Photos and camera, and you have slideshow. Uh, how long do you want to play it for? I want to play it for each one for 10 seconds, and I want them to be shuffled. So you can set that up in your settings first before you play the slideshow. Now to delete photos, let's go back to albums and into photos. So I can, so I can delete. An individual photo by going to the photo and it's tapping the trash and delete photo. So one photo is gone that way. If you want to delete multiple photos, select 
just select the photos you want to delete so I want to delete these two and then the trash delete two photos now as you're deleting these photos in iOS 8 they're, they're going to the recently deleted album so in this album here the last two photos that I deleted are in the top here so this is the one the ones I've just deleted today all have 30 days any photo that you trash will go into the recently deleted album where it will stay for 30 days uh, and then it'll just drop off so the ones down here have one day left before they just drop off the, the album if you want to delete it immediately then just go into select and say select these two I want to delete these immediately or again I could select so this picture and recover it and it will go back into the same place it came from it's a safety net if you like in case you really didn't want to delete it to delete photos in albums we go into this album here I can select and I can select one picture and trash it and that picture will be removed from the album but it's still in the camera roll and I can select multiple pictures to remove them from the album and trash them. Or if I want to delete the whole album, just tap the edit. Any album that is able to be deleted will have a black cross. The ones that haven't are either the default ones that come with the iPad or have been synced across through iTunes. So I will delete that slideshow one and I get a are you sure message. Yes, I'm sure. Delete and tap done. If I was in the years in the collections view and I wanted to delete a picture say this one if I tap and hold it becomes a thumbnail I can let go which opens that picture as an individual moment and then I can trash it delete it. So in this lesson we looked at how you shared photos and created slideshows created a, a photo stream and how to delete photos.